All right, guys, so I am here on Smith Island in the town of Ewell, Maryland. As you can see by that sign, what it says, hopefully you guys can read that. So anyway, if you can't, it says, this island was discovered by Captain John Smith in 1608. Uh, this is the state of Maryland's only inhabited offshore island. Uh, this is known for its crab cakes, fun cruises, amazing scenery, wildlife, day trips, and the world famous Smith Island cakes, which I'll be having later on. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, there are also, finally, there are restaurants, cottages, and actually a grocery store on this island. So I'm going to basically just take you around, show you some stuff. That's about it. So come along with me. And join me for the adventure. Alright guys, we're going to go into the Smith Island Center Cultural Museum right now. Here we are, we're in the museum. Smith Island cake. Where the crabs go. So, and, and, uh, some people will say a 
straight bottom has a rind bar. It doesn't have any teeth in it. You don't dig in your bottom. I, I call it sips drill. So it just, the, the rind bar goes over it and the crabs and grass will go into, into here. And we, we dump it out on to the soft crabs, all this stuff, and hard crabs. So, so we, we drag through. Uh, we say it's one guy working. You pull the tanks and uh, uh, we call them blind boxes, blind wells, whatever you want to call them. Working out in the sun. Are they ice or anything? No, just, just fresh water. Just, uh, the water, they had some holes in the bottom where the salt water circulates. Through. The guy behind me is talking about crabbing on the island. Just circulating, keep, keep crabbing a lot. And so expanding them. Just, just as it is in our homes, everything, when you talk about blind bait, it's always here in Florida. You need to come back and get the sand. We put them in the buildings, which you uh, crab shed or shed the shack, whatever you want to call it, and uh, we saw them three to four times a day, it's all based on you know, the time of year when it's warm or not. As you can see, they have their own church here, their own cemetery. Look at that old cottage in the back. just like diminishing away oh I forgot to tell you guys here's my ride kind of looks like the Pee Wee Herman bike a little bit <laughs> so this is my ride while I'm here check out this old house it, it looks kind of creepy here's the uh, Smith Island Inn bed and breakfast if you want to stay on the island this is where you would stay Here's the post office. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The post office. Kind of interesting here. It's like, it's a small, quaint little town. So there's really hardly any cars. I mean, there's some trucks and stuff. There's a few cars, but mostly it's like bikes and golf carts. I mean, I could have gotten a golf cart, but I prefer to bike. Maybe next time I'll get the golf cart. But it's it's a lot of wildlife here, I tell you. A lot of birds, as you can hear in the background. Sorry guys, I'm on the bike, so I'm a little wobbly. <laughs> sure, why not? It's always good to donate something. There we go. Here's the uh, Smith Island Motel. If you ask me, it kind of looks like the Bates Motel a little bit. <laughs> and apparently, I guess this is the school right here. As you can see, the kids are playing. All right, guys, tell me this doesn't look like a creepy street right here with these houses. Uh, I'm gonna. Man, there are bugs around me anywhere, everywhere. I'm gonna. Uh, let's do this. Look at this house, guys. All the uh, unique architecture on there and sculptures. I hope you guys can see this. 
It's a little blurry here with the sun with the camera. All right, guys, there it is, the Smith Island cake. Oh, my God. The cake is awesome. It's rich, creamy, soft. It's really good.